And you have heard me say this to you time and again, that I have given full permission to your seminary professors and teachers to make life difficult for you. It is not because I don't love you. It is rather that I love you very much. That is why I want to subject you into fire because even before you see it, we have seen gold in you waiting to come out. Your sons, our sons, have finished a chapter in their lives and they are ready to move a step forward. I say forward, not upward. It is a step forward. It is a step towards the Lord. By what coincidence that the word of God for us today is the parable of the prodigal son of the forgiving father and the three characters in the parable all teach you about the priesthood what does the younger son teach us we call in theology kenosis emptying but the younger son understood it the wrong way because he emptied the pocket of his father and he thought that by emptying others' pockets, emptying others' lives, that he would find happiness. He was, of course, wrong. The essence of this life is to practice charity. But there are blocks along the way. The denial of the existence of God, the denial of the existence of sin, which I call the stainless syndrome. So you realize how there is a rush to receive Holy Communion and you only have a handful of people going to confession. Why is it that the older we become, the more willful we get to be and the more difficult we become the older we get to be, mas naninigas ang ulo, mas matapang, and very often in the wrong way. Says the Eucharist and the Sacrament of Reconciliation are organically and intimately united. This is a very important premise. Our reception, the Sacrament of Reconciliation, na apektuhan ang ating reception of the Sacrament of the Eucharist. Negligence in the first will lead to a sterile reception of the second. We did not teach you in the seminary, high school, college, or theology in order to fill up yourselves. We taught you how to empty yourselves because when you empty yourselves, you can allow God to fill you up. And when you empty yourself like Jesus, emptying himself like a slave, you will become truly priests according to the heart of Jesus. What does the elder son teach us? The elder son teaches us entitlement. He was loyal. He was strict with himself, scrupulous with every sin. But he felt entitled to a goat. When you think that the priesthood is a privilege, and because it is a privilege, you think that the priesthood gives you a right to some things that the others cannot possess. Dan put it very rightly that his high grades, your high grades, your certificates, your diplomas are not yours. They are God's. We are not entitled to anything, but we can only be grateful. When you saw us receive these gifts, we hope that you remembered the Lord 
We hope that you remember all the good things He has done for us. He has been good and merciful to us despite our unworthiness. This has always been the work of God and we are witnesses to His unfathomable love and mercy. Our greatest achievement is and for, will forever be Christ. He is our greatest reward. Be careful of that feeling that makes you grab every honor, grab every privilege. Because emptying and entitlement are water and oil they cannot meet. What does the Father teach us? The Father is best at forgiveness. That the only excellence that you must aspire for is excellence in mercy. The seminary is not a college for competitors. We did not train you to compete with one another. We taught you to be brothers with one another. But if you have to compete in the seminary, Outdo one another in mercy. Outdo one another in compassion. Let them teach you emptying. Let them teach you sacrifice. Let them teach you against entitlement. And compete with one another for excellence in mercy and compassion. Let them know you to be the graduates Train in love. And when they see you, may they see the face of our loving God.